Okay, real quickly, I'm going to show you some color adjustments to make for this assignment. Um, this is a picture of my son with a couple of these yellow leaves. So yellow is the color that I'm really focusing on here, and I want to um, brighten it up a little bit, sort of intensify that yellow. Uh, and we're going to use a adjustment layer. And we're going to choose Hue and Saturation. Now, um, this window uh, really can manipulate an image. I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, where it says Master, if I make any changes to the sliders here, it's affecting the entire image. So if I change the hue, we're going to be shifting the color of the, in, the entire image all around. I mean, all the color changes everywhere. If we change the saturation, say I take the saturation all the way down, on master everything goes gray. If I take it all the way up, all the color sort of gets maxed out. Okay, we don't want to really do that. Lightness, all the way down is black, all the way up is white. So that's what it what happens on the master layer master level, dealing with all the colors at once. But really what we want to focus on is that particular color we're dealing with. What range does it fall in? Okay, I'm going to choose the yellows. And when we choose that color, we get this little bracket down here in between these two color spectrums. The top spectrum is the current state. The bottom spectrum will indicate any changes made. Okay, so since I'm choosing yellow, if I increase the saturation of that yellow, it intensifies. Okay. If I bring the brightness of it down, it darkens and the amount of yellow starts to close in on that bottom one. If I take the saturation all the way down, it completely starts to go gray. Okay, so we get a good indication of what's happening in the image from these uh, color spectrums. And I'm just going to reset these back to zero. And on this little bracket again, I'm going to be um, more specific in the areas that I'm affecting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these little um, brackets here and bring them in toward the color that I want, really want to deal with. I really want to deal with the yellow. So I'm going to be as, as specific I can, as I can on yellow. Move away from the orange and away from the yellow green. And now I'll hit really affect just that specific yellow which is mainly in the leaves. Really bump it up. Don't bump it so far that it gets unrealistic and starts to affect the entire image and make all these crazy jagged stuff going on. Just get it where you like it. Uh, probably won't need to change the hue because that will affect the real color there. <laughs> so leave that at zero in most cases. And then if you need to lighten or darken, you can. Okay. And then we'll play with the preview here. So we've done definitely better. But really has some more pop to it. Okay. So hue and saturation. Now it does have an adjustment, um, a mask, a layer mask on that adjustment layer. So you can go in and remove the effect like, you know, the yellow in the hair has gotten sort of intense, so I'll paint some black in there and sort of knock that yellow down in the hair. And it's not a great change, but uh, bring that back to a natural skin tones. Remove that intensity of the yellow that was added back in the skin because there is some yellow in the skin. Okay. All right, so hue and saturation. Give it a try.